What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So it's reassembly day for the Beamer today. Now I was going to make a video of me pulling it apart and so on and then showing you guys how to pull it apart, etc, etc. But it's actually easier for me and more informative for me to do it backwards for you because then I've got the item in my hand and I'm like, look, this is the mounting points, this is the clips, this is the bolts, whatever it is, and then just put it in backwards, right? Um, so I'm gonna strap you guys to my chest and uh, take you through reassembling. It's pretty basic. Uh, it was a door shut respray because it was going from obviously just silver to gray. So it wasn't a huge difference um, and there was a decent amount more work. So obviously you're gonna have to pull your doors off, you're gonna have to paint the inside of your doors, door shuts, engine bay, boot shuts, all that sort of stuff. So I didn't do that. Um, so obviously that's a little bit more work if you wanna do that. But if you're just kind of refreshing your current color, uh, I guess this is what you'd be doing. So, and also like if you need to be pulling your mirrors off because you're changing it or you need to be, I don't know, doing whatever, you'll see the bits we're pulling out, you wanna do a grill upgrade, whatever, you'll be able to see how to do it real easy. So we're heading in right now and yeah, I'm just gonna show you how to put it all back together. So if you wanna pull it apart, just do the opposite. All right, sweet, let's head in, get done. All right, so I'm just gonna start with the lock. Just here. So I've already put the gasket in, but that's literally just placing a gasket in. You got two T20s right here. T20 torque bits. I, whenever I take something out, I always put it back in where it came from, just so I don't lose the screws, or I'll put them in a specific spot, like <clears throat> down there, I put everything. Well, not everything, but a bunch of stuff. So if I need a screw, it's in the little bin down there. So let me just pop this up into place. So then we've got this little clip that goes in. So that clip pops in here. And then you've got this bad boy here, which actually activates the switch. You need to pull the back of the pin out just up here at the bottom of the lock. There's literally only one spot to put it. So I'm sorry, you can't see that, but you guys are strapped to my chest. I can't exactly take you off right now. All right, tail light, super basic. This is the one that actually goes on your um, boot lid. So you need to undo this screw. Now, once that's off, all right, it's very simple. See that little lip on the edge? Goes in. That's it, lips on. And then you just put this back in place and it holds it in place. Okay, that's that. And then you just clip your lights back in place. So you just push it up and this little clip clips in and that's that tail light done. So I'm just gonna do the other side quickly. Okay, and once you put this light on, you can actually do it before this light. It's, you've got this cover that you need to take two uh, T20 screws out and it covers your lock so that if someone smashes your tail light, you can't get to your lock. So I'm just gonna chuck those screws in quickly. Okay, now just something to keep in mind with this panel, it slips above this cut, this uh, ledge here, and the hole at the back is actually like that, and then as you put your screw through, it opens up, so it pops in a hole, and then it opens up. So then that's in. So now, I just have to do the boot handle. So we'll pull that down, do that. Okay, so super basic. Slide this in, obviously take the tape off, plug it in up behind here, and you've got four T20 screws, BMWs love the T20s. Now you can see mine's broken here, but the other three are all good, so it'll hold in really nicely. So yeah, just plug it in, screw them in. And there you have it, handle back on. The good thing is it's got locating pins and stuff, so you can't put it off center. So yeah, easy, easy, easy. I'm gonna do both the tail lights after I've dusted off. These are super simple. So it's got one, two, three. They literally go into the corresponding holes, one, two, three. Bolt them in, there's 10 mil bolt, uh, 10 mil nuts on the back, and that's in. Now I'm just gonna do the other side. All right, front grills. They've just got a bunch of clips around them, so they literally just slide into place. So put it into its place, and then give it a wriggle. A little, a little love tap, boom. You're in, it's that easy, just, it clips in. It's a lot harder to take out than put in because you have to push those clips all kind of evenly at the same time and get them out, but it does come out. 
pretty simple. Probably the easiest bit is uh, putting the grill back in. All right, let's continue. Okay, one thing I'm not gonna be installing today is this weather strip here, but it's literally, you can see them in there. You grab this strip, pull it down. Also at the back, pull it down. It's a bunch of Phillips head screws all the way along. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 screws. 17, maybe 18. Now, over here, be careful. There is a wire here, very careful of. But that's it, it's really, really simple. But we're actually gonna be doing the mirror right now, which is basic as, and don't pull your door card off. You don't have to. If you go to pull your door card off, you're wasting your time. Trust me, I literally did it. All right, so I'll just push the cable through the grommet. I'm gonna push that grommet into place in a second. But it's literally two 10 mils right here on the inside. Hold on, I'll give you a better angle in a second. So that's how simple it is. It's two screws and you can pop your grommet out to pull your cable out a little bit further. You, um, so like you can pull your mirror down, just hang it in the door. Then this clip, right, slides into that revision and then clips in. That's it. So when you want to pull it out, you clip it out, slide it up, and then you've got access. Don't pull your door card off, it's a waste of time. All right, I'm not gonna make you watch me do this grommet because it's gonna be annoying. All right, water squirters for your windscreen. Super easy. So clip and then your hose underneath. You push that in and it feeds out, right? So obviously do it backwards to get it in. So you wanna feed your clip in, feed that in, the front first, make sure that's nice and low. That's it, that's it, that's it, that easy. Now it comes from that side over there. So you wanna make sure you put the right ones in the right place. So this little grill obviously goes underneath. It goes that way with these little clips side down. So you just clip it up and they've got little clips that clip over the top of them. But first I'm just gonna plug those back in. So it's literally just the hose back in and the um, wire connector. And then you can see the little um, clips there, there and there, so on. Just clip over this. All right, so these sections just clip in. So you got four little clips in there and they just click into place. You just gotta wriggle them into their position and then I just clip in. You want that to line up. So give me a bit of time. I'm gonna wriggle this in and we'll get it sitting right. There you go, she's in. So it was just uh, this little bit of plastic back here was just holding up against the back of it. Clip it in, all good. Indicators, super simple. Clip them in, go to the front first, it's way easier. Mm, I don't know, I don't know. I do think that tinted would look better. Simple one here, just your indicators, goes in there, and right there you've got a Phillips head screw, locks it in. Okay, so I actually had a lot of trouble with this handle. Now, if you can see mm, in there, see that screw right there, that's a T15 Torx. As you undo that, it actually goes inwards, okay? Which, if you keep it nice and straight, it actually locks itself in this position so you can reinstall. But it is spring loaded, so if you don't give it, if you don't undo it 100%, it will actually spring backwards and put that there in that black gap you can see behind and nothing lines up. And then, like I did, I kept on screwing and it actually locked it in position back there. So you need to undo it about three screws, lean it forward with the actual Torx bit you're using so I would I would recommend like the Torx bit screwdrivers then you can lock it back into position you go beginning of your handle like front of your handle first lock it back tighten that up then that's in position and then this piece here just wriggles its way in and there's gonna be a allen key head you just tighten up and that's your door handle back on